what's up y'all and welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new here hey girl hey please don't be a stranger get down there right now click that subscribe button turn on your post notification because boo i have a ton of fun holiday inspired videos coming for you guys this month and not only that i have an announcement to make drum roll please we're doing vlogmas next month yes six months pregnant four little ones running around we are still doing vlogmas 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 is just one of those months that just makes me so happy and puts me in the brightest and happiest spirits because why christmas duh so if you've been watching my latest videos you guys have been seeing that i have been doing a lot of shot with me videos but those videos aren't just for you guys i've been doing some real shopping you guys okay so i figured because today is november 1st yesterday was halloween and i literally took down all things spooky halloween fall and i put them up because today is november 1st and i want to go ahead and get a head start on our christmas decor for this year okay six months preggers as i mentioned before so i don't want to be doing like a ton of stuff the closer i get to my due date even though i'm doing february but i know that my body <laughs> it's probably not going to be trying to do all the things so why i'm in this second trimester the end of my second trimester and i got like this spark of energy i want to go ahead and do these type of videos so today's video is going to be a christmas prep video so this morning before kwan left for work i had him take all of our christmas tree christmas decor anything that i own christmas out of our closet um and he brought it out for me and I'm super excited to go through it. I'm going to go through it with you guys. But last year, you guys know that we did the Grinch really like a whimsical theme. And I'm totally going the opposite direction. The previous year before that, I did like farmhouse. I was just stuck on the red truck farmhouse craze that everybody was into. I'm out of that, you guys. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas decor plans. And I just want to give you guys just like a little bit of how I'm going to be decorating this year for Christmas. So I'm super excited to do this video because as I said before, it's November 1st and I'm just out of spooky season. I'm in tis the season vibes and I'm just ready. Also, I said he took down the Christmas tree. I'm gonna be putting up my Christmas tree, you guys. Am I gonna be decorating? Not quite yet, but I am trying to figure out where I want to place it this year. Why? Because we rearranged our living room and it's totally different from last year. So. I kind of want to figure out if I'm going to have to move something or what I want to do as far as where our Christmas tree is going to be going. Also, I would love to know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a haul because if you've been watching my videos and you've been keeping up with all the holiday things I've been posting on my channel, I feel like I got a burp. <laughs> you know that I've been doing a lot of shop with me videos. Not just shopping, but I've been getting stuff, you guys. Not like window shopping. I've been getting things for my new Christmas theme this year, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. But I've been going to like different stores, as you guys seen. So I didn't get like a ton of stuff from one store. So I would love to know if you guys would like to see one huge Christmas decor haul. Or would you like for me to split it up? Um... So yeah, without further ado, you guys, we're going to jump right into this video. I'm extremely excited to just kind of go through and to see what I have. I know I didn't use a lot of my farmhouse stuff from the previous years. Um, I do see that I have a ton of holiday pillows, but we're going to go through it together. and We're going to see all the things that I have so that we can start just kind of like sitting things out and just turning this apartment into a magical Christmas moment or space so let's jump right into this video and go through these bins i'm gonna start with this bin because it has the least amount of stuff in it i think i want to say this other box is just like mainly pillows but we're just gonna go through i did get rid of a lot of stuff you guys like last year because i stay in a bit of an apartment and it's not really that much space, so I kind of just got to work with what I work with. So I know I don't have like a ton, ton of stuff, but I have some stuff that I know I could put out. And I just want to see what I have so I can see if I need to go shopping some more. <laughs> do I have an excuse to go do a little bit more Christmas shopping? Or if I'm just good with what I have. So let's go through these boxes and 
sort out everything and see what all we have so that we can see what we're working with. So I figured I would do it. At first I was gonna like just put everything out, but I kind of want to go through it with you guys. So here is the bin. I've had this for years, like I said before. This is more so of my farmhouse themed stuff. Okay, I had to make sure that wasn't a spider hanging because boo. <clears throat> this got me choked up. This this Christmas tree is about to go flying across the room. But it's super cute. It has like little sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see. But I love this. And I feel like it will go perfect with this year's decor. But we're going to see. But it's really nice. I think my mom got this for me years and years ago. Or either I took it from her. I don't know. One of the two. But it's just a super cute little neutral Christmas tree. So we got that. Open up this bin here. Um, I got a ton now, this ain't decor, but this is more for like our elf on the shelf type shenanigans. I have like a <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Go ahead, baby. I have like a ton of these like boxes, like super cute little boxes. You want me to, okay? Let me help you. Is that your way? Hold up, hold up. He's still in his costume, y'all. But I have a ton of those like little boxes, but my kids, I feel like are gonna come out and see. But it's just like ton of boxes and boxes and boxes of just like fun little stuff that I incorporate with our elf on the shelf, which I, by the way, I can't wait until she arrives. Um, I have this old rug. This was an outside rug, I believe. Yeah. It needs to probably go in the trash or either get washed really good. But it's a snowman rug, you guys. And it says, let it snow. But I don't know. Either trash or outside again. We'll see. Um, I do have some fall items still in here as well. Um, I have this little sign. I think this will go perfect with my decor this year. We'll see how it looks and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year it's from dollar tree i love to get like their little signs to like hang up different places and sometimes i be like feel like i'm gonna do okay sometimes i feel like i want to do a diy and then i never get to the diy so put it back on okay let me see He wants to put back on his costume, you guys. He's not out of spooky season yet. Here, come on. Mom life calls, okay? Always. So, what's the next thing? I don't want to break anything. I have a lot of glass items in here. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. I've had these for years, you guys. And it's just little cute stocking holders. I use these every single year. And I'm probably going to use them this year again because I just like the wood and the white. I don't know if they're ever going to bring any of these back out, but we will see. I paid $3 a piece for them, but I thought they were so cute and I feel like they can go with any season of the year. I feel like a lot of my farmhouse stuff is going to go with this theme. Like it won't like clash if I use some of the farmhouse stuff. So I'm kind of excited. I got more of these. So let's see how many I got another one which is great um make sure nothing's broken so i have four of those which is awesome and then we have i don't know why it's just one stocking right here i'm sure the other one is somewhere but i have these stockings that i've been using for the past year i even used these last year um simply because i just didn't go out and get no more for the kids and they just kind of worked out but i know for a fact these are definitely going to go with my theme this year so i'm probably going to use these again this year but i just love them this is more of my farmhouse theme but this traditional like stuff going on is more of what i'm going for so those are super cute that's if i can even find the other ones i really hope i didn't end up throwing them out but we shall see another sign this says good tidings and comfort and joy so this is from the dollar spot at target i can hang this up i could sit it on like a shelf somewhere super cute i love the wood aesthetic of it and it was only three dollars when i got it so 
super fun. Also, oh, I've had this for years. It's this little sign right here, also from the Dollar Spot, and it says warm up at the Cocoa Bar. I was thinking about doing a hot chocolate bar this year, like doing like a DIY hot chocolate bar. So I think this little sign would be like perfect for that. And it's so cute, only a dollar at Target's Dollar Spot. Um, let's see, something glass but I don't know what the top of it is at. I really hope it's not broken. It's like this little gingerbread house wax warmer that I got. So here's what it looks like. It has like the little light bulb in the inside. I need to wipe it off because you can see that. Oh, it kind of still smells like Christmas candles or Christmas wax. But here's the top, matter of fact, and it still has Christmas wax in it. Ain't that something? But um, here's the top, so I can show you guys what it looks like. I'm just trying to make sure it's not like broken anywhere. But it doesn't look like it is. So isn't that so cute? Ah, I freaking love it. I'm definitely putting this out this year. Like I just love this so much, and I can't even tell you guys where it came from. But it's cute and very unique. So we'll be using this for sure. I might be able to use most of this stuff because I didn't realize how much stuff I got rid of. This this bin is not even as full as I thought it was. But we also got this. I'm definitely using this because this goes with my theme. But it's a little green truck with a little tree. I don't know where this one came from. I want to say that my mom got this for me. But I don't know. But I like it. It says Merry Christmas. And we're using him this year because he goes perfect. Also, I have this little garland with the little Christmas lights. Like it's like a little knit Christmas light garland, which is really, really cool. And I don't know if I got this from Target or what, but we'll see if I find a home for this. But I thought it was really, really cute when I got it. So it kind of looked like little peppers, like little red and white peppers, but super cute. What's this? What's in this Target bag? Oh, okay. So this is like stuff for our elf on the shelf. But this is like a little gingerbread foam house. I be doing like little stuff like this when I wanna like, so say we decide we wanna have a gingerbread decorating night. I would put the elf somewhere near this to kind of like give like a hint that that's what we're doing so a little stuff like this just to kind of like make it fun i hope that i can give you guys a lot of ideas to do with your elf on the shelf this year because i really enjoy like just doing little stuff and just having fun with it but this is from target for three dollars i'm gonna have to go find some more stuff i don't know if we're gonna have one or two elves come this year but we shall see okay and then the last item, my mom was actually gifted this by one of her subscribers. And I begged for this thing, you guys. Like, I begged because I really wanted it. And it is technically a, like, a candy bowl slash cookie jar. But look at this. Oh, it's a freaking car, y'all. So cute hide like little stuff in there got a little cute little snowman right there super cute and so fun and i'm so glad that i've been taking care of it since my mom got it i promised her that i would i got some halloween stuff in here you guys um i also got some christmas 98 cent christmas like tags which i put on like gifts and stuff or something from the elf but yeah so that's mainly everything in this bucket i also ended up having some more like fall like items in here as well but i'm gonna just leave everything out that i have taken out so far i don't know if i showed you guys this but i also used this for our little elf when she first arrived and i put her in here because they can't really touch her they was able to carry her around and i got this from the dollar tree and it was originally a little piggy bank and i took a christmas card cut it out in the shape of the house and put it inside and it just worked out and she just sat in there and it was able to show her around the house so super fun idea 
so what's next you guys okay we got another bin to go through or well, another box and then we're gonna see if I could just like kind of just like see the placement of things you know or maybe I should do that in a separate video or I can give you guys a kind of like an idea of kind of like an idea of the theme that I'm going for this year so I'll post some Pinterest inspired pictures across the screen right now and just show you guys all the different Pinterest stuff that I've been looking at for the theme this year and um so you guys can get an idea of what I'm going for and then I'll show you guys all the Christmas pillows and then we're gonna figure out where we want to put this tree okay so enjoy these Pinterest inspired ideas that I have been looking at and then I'm gonna show you guys all the Christmas pillows once y'all are done getting inspired okay So now that you guys have a feel for my Christmas theme this year, you guys know that I'm going for a more traditional, cozy vibe type of feel, if that makes sense. So I wanted to go with the traditional Christmas colors, but like the traditional red and green, but add in the pops of white, pops of black, and just make it really, really super cozy and comfortable. Um, so we're going to go through this huge box of stuff. I thought it was just pillows, but I see some other stuff up here as well. So this right here is just a table runner. Um, it is like extremely dusty. <laughs> that's just going everywhere. But that's a table runner. Also got him, which I'm glad to see you, sir. I don't know where I got him from. I want to say the Dollar Tree, but he's super big. If I did get this from the Dollar Tree, this is a steal. But it's like a little Avent calendar. I love these things. It just gets the kids super excited for. And look at the last day we stopped on, you guys. The 25th. So exciting. So it's just like a little paper clip. Not paper clip. A clothespin that you put on there with this like little jute. But he goes perfect with the theme with his little black and white i mean his black and red buffalo check suit bow tie and his little um i forget what this is called y'all but super cute and he had on his boots and i just love this so i'm so glad i found him and i still got him because he's gonna go up somewhere and i know the kids are going to love him then what is this let's see Another garland, definitely not gonna be using this this year only because it's not with my theme. I may put it in the kids room though. Um, I know they would like this and plus they want me to decorate their room, you guys. It makes me excited that they like for me to do stuff like that. So I might be like doing very minimal, but still kid friendly um, Christmas decor in there. And plus they made me buy them like a little mini tree from the Dollar Tree. So we'll see. But this is cute. I'm just not going to be using it in my, um, I can't even get it together, in my living room space. But all of the colors are super fun. And it just says Merry Christmas all the way down. Um, and yeah, I feel like the kids all really, really love this. So I'll probably put this in their room and make their room super fun and festive for the holiday season. Um, The next thing, we're going to get into these pillows. Um, Some of them look like they need to be washed, but that's okay. I can wash them. Um, This one is just a Santa Claus pillow in this red. I don't know if I'm going to use it this year. I'm just kind of like put it in my pillow, decorate, decor pillow basket. 
and it says Santa Claus, I Reindeer Lane, the North Pole. When I bought this, I did not realize it said this and I was just kind of like, what? Like, what does that mean? But it was cute and I liked it at the time and I still like it, but I could probably just like add it to my other decor. Also, this right here definitely was one of my faves and it needs a good wash. And I know this pillow wash is really good because I washed it last season, but it's cute and it looked like it would go perfect with the decor, but we'll see. I don't know where I got it from, but it says warm and cozy, but it has this right here on it. So I'm gonna have to spray my little stain remover and just try to like clean it up and make it look good. I don't know why it looks all stained up. Probably from last year at the end, I just kind of like gave up. This is the Elf on the Shelf situation. She's not in here, she's hiding. But um, this is Tinsel, Tinsel's box, delivery box that she came in. Um, told you guys I went with the Grinch theme last year, so I had got these Grinch pillows. Like I said, I'm not gonna be using them. I may put them in the kids' room and do Grinch in their room. That would be super fun. Let me know if y'all think I should do that. And then this one just says Merry Grinchmas with little pom-poms and then the little dog Max on the back. What else we got in here? Oh, man, man, we'll be so excited to know that I found this. Look at there. Look who was in the bottom of the Christmas bucket. Batman. <laughs> you know, you know, Keegan loves Batman. Then I have these pillows which are super cute and fun. Probably won't be using these. I probably could, I got two of these. So I could probably put one on each one of the boys' bed and really nail the Grinch thing without doing too much in their room. But we'll see. See, I got another one right here. So super fun. Just not what I'm going for. Um, I got this tree skirt, which I am really happy to see. I was looking for a tree skirt the other day at Hobby Lobby when I went in there and could not find one that I liked. And I really was like bummed because I'm like, everything is 50% off, like all the Christmas decor is 50% off. And I'm like, this will be the perfect time for me to find a skirt, just a tree skirt because Hobby Lobby's tree skirts are like $50, y'all. But they're like really, really nice. But I have one and it goes perfect. Kind of matches the, and it's, the perfect size it kind of matches the um the stockings i showed you guys but yay i'm excited but i only see one of these stockings y'all like i'm concerned <sighs> maybe i'm missing some stuff but i got that and then i got lots of like lights in here as well and these are just like the colorful lights I could probably put them, hang them in the kids room to give them more of that Christmas vibe. And I got these little Christmas tree things in there. But that's it in here. I feel like I got another box somewhere, y'all. So I'm gonna have to see when Quan gets home. I ain't trying to do too much reaching above my head. But I do have some more stuff in my closet area. But there's that. So definitely got working with quite a bit of stuff um i do know that i'm super excited because i can go out and do some more shopping um for more stuff because i know that i want more stuff in here but i feel like i'm missing another box which is logical because i know i have a few more things that i'm used to sitting out for the season but if i find it then or when Kwang gets home and find it That'll be great. And then I can kind of show you guys probably in another video. But right now, we are about to get this tree out the box and see where we want to put it. Because I think I'm just going to put it right where it's sitting at, right where the box is sitting at. But I don't know yet. So let me just show you guys. I'm going to put the tree up and then we're going to move it to see where we want to put it at. Okay? Let's do it. Y'all. My storage is tripping so bad right now. I don't know what's going on, but it's like my third time recording this. Anyways, the tree is out of the box. I was just thinking like last year I was going to get a new Christmas tree. And then for some reason I didn't get a new one. Um, but I feel like this, this tree I got from Target for 60 bucks. But I wanted to get a new one because I wanted a flocked tree. 
also last year i noticed that half of the tree lights up like i don't know if there's like a shortage or what but only half the tree because it's a pre-lit tree lights up so last year i made it work because we did the the um colorful lights but i don't know so i'm gonna talk to Quan and see if he wants to get me a new tree <laughs> um but then again i could just buy the lights and just save a coin plus we got baby on the way and stuff like that so we're probably just gonna thug it out for this christmas season um and maybe at the end of this year um when everything goes on sale i would just grab another one for next year but i'm gonna go ahead and set her up because i'm doing everything sitting down so don't be over there judging me and stuff because my back hurts so bad from trick-or-treating with the kids yesterday i'm glad i got the good exercise in but my back hurts so bad today like it's like telling me why did i do that so this is the bottom half i, li I literally like to take my time and fluff it out like i'm supposed to like because this tree is not like a super full tree either you guys can see but um yeah so i'm gonna just fluff this out Juan's gonna come home like girl you don't put up the tree i told him i was though uh -oh. i told him i was gonna put it up today so he shouldn't be too shocked but i feel like i'm gonna leave it right here i'm gonna put it up and get this all fluffed out real nice and see how it looks right here in this corner and i'm gonna ask you guys and see what you guys think and y'all can let me know down in the comments if I should just leave it where it's at or if I should move it or where y'all think I should move it but we will see once I get to this all nice and fluffed out because I like to take my time and do this part y'all so I'll fluff her out and then come back and show you guys what she looks like okay guys so the Christmas tree is completely up I feel like I can fluff it out just a little bit more to make it look fuller it actually looks fuller than what it did last year maybe i didn't put that much effort in fluffing her but i think i am going to keep her right here in this corner like right next to the tv because it still leaves lots of space and you can actually see it from sitting over here on the couch so i definitely think the location is going to be perfect for me or us <laughs> this year but i love it and i cannot wait to decorate her and get her all bedazzled and pretty and just in the christmas spirit so yeah you guys i'm gonna save that for another video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel get down there right now click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time i upload a video i'm bringing all of these holiday videos for you guys back to back and you do not want to miss them so yeah you guys i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye y'all